A word rarely heard in polite company ricocheted around the world this past week, attracting the notice of our faith daily. I'm sorry to use this kind of language on Sunday morning, but I'm only quoting our president. This week, he reportedly called Haiti, El Salvador, and places in Africa expletive whole countries. On Friday, a few hours before signing a proclamation to honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, Mr. Trump offered a vague and confusing statement saying his language was tough, but this was not the language used by me. He did not explicitly deny calling these countries the White House did not deny it either. Here's what we're left with, thanks to our president's tough talk. Journalists on many networks, including this one right now, uttering the phrase whole countries. President Trump used a vulgar We heard it from the usually the dulcet tones of NPR hosts, who'd probably prefer a euphemism like fecal crater. Thanks to our president. Our president that word is scrawled across screens for our children to read. It's like we're living in an episode of South Park. This is Baghdad God, what a sh I mean, oh wow, these poor unfortunate people. What would Walter Cronkite have done? What is any polite, decent American to do? Here's a proposal. If you're going to use derogatory, profane, and arguably racist language to describe another country and its people, how about some ground rules? You have to be able to find it on a map and spell it as fast as you can say hole. And as far as holes go, don't worry too much. In today's politics, this comment will be sucked into a bigger one, the news cycle black hole. We'll be dealing with different crap by next week.